Hi, everyone. So you're probably tired of me mentioning this because I remember like so many episodes ago, I said I would only mention my my public journals w- one time. And then after that episode, it's been multiple times. So I figured, oh, well, sorry about that. But anyways, um, I bring it up again because I'm supposed to have this one I'm doing out by this month. Um, so I only have like two weeks left and I'm actually, I've made such progress on it and I'm almost to the part where I have to go back and edit the whole thing. So, you know, I've been trying to be like more, uh, well, less procrastinating, I guess I should say. But anyways, so the journal is about public, not public, sorry. It's about special interests and, um, I just developed a new one and I, oof. hi honey, want to say hi? Okay, it's nice to see you too. <laughs> this actually, here's a tangent, this is Bitchy, her real name is Zena, um, and she had a cone on for the past like four or five days because this bitch bit a hole near her vulva, like for real. I know that's gross, but, like, Alicia was like, oh, my God, look at this. And there was, like, a literal, like, it was, like, a round hole that was red. Like, she really went to town back there. And it turns out she needed her anal glands expressed. Sorry that that is so gross because it is. And I'm not even going to describe that any further because you'll stop listening to me forever. But, um, but, get it? Sorry. Uh, she feels better. And... She no longer has to wear the cone so that she can leave her behind behind oh, alone because it already healed. Anyways, I don't know why I told you this. She's just here. Do you want to say hi again? Yeah, no, okay. Some purring. Um, sorry about that. Where was I? Special interests? Yes. So I use the word embarrassing frequently. I'm not ashamed. Please don't think that I view embarrassment as like shame because I don't. It's just like, you know how it is. You go so many years hiding yourself and then uh, you already think that like your shit's embarrassing the way you think and are. And then you find out that actually there are so many other people out there like you. Finally, after all this time, you get that confirmation. And as much as I am still embracing my authentic self you know some of these things I'm just like oh my gosh like this seems a bit embarrassing but I have to say it out loud anyways so I'm not ashamed by anything that I say that I'm embarrassed by um and I feel the need to say that because I was listening to something I don't know how long ago it was a week or two I don't remember where I listened to it because my memory sucks but what was I saying Oh, you know what? I should just like, I really need to get to the topic. I forgot what I was going to say. Sorry about that. But anyways, embarrassing. So my newest special interest, and I don't know where I have been the entire time that this has been around. And I understand I might lose some of you for saying this, but Married at First Sight. Oh my God, that show Mary that first sight is so fucking awesome. Oh no, I can't go back and re-record because I'm already almost four minutes in. I'm sorry I said it like that, but like I really was either gonna do that or scream. Like this show is fucking great. And so when I was unemployed, oh my god, so many years ago when we got laid off and we were looking for things to occupy ourselves while we were unemployed and looking for work. And we had stumbled upon The Walking Dead and it had already been out for at least, I don't know, at least four or five seasons by that point, I'm pretty sure. And I had remembered hearing it nonstop like for so long and I never got around to like watching it because I always thought it was something stupid and um because I heard it was about zombies and I'm like uh no and then we were unemployed and bored so we checked out a few episodes and got hooked and I was like oh my gosh this is what everybody's been talking about and it was the same thing with the Game of Thrones 
and now with this married at first sight because I have heard some people that I hold in high regard that are in the public saying that they watch this show and I've heard this over the years from various individuals and I always think to myself what is wrong with you why would you watch a show like that especially when that's its name married at first sight and I had assumed it was some bullshit show um, like some trashy reality or something. I don't know. It was like, I definitely do judge books by their covers, whether they're human beings or literal books or TV show titles. Married at First Sight is actually a really good show and it provides so much perspective for people in relationships. Um, and so I'm debating whether or not to include this in my journal that I'm just about wrapping up. Um, maybe I will. I don't think that that's like a life or death question because it's not. Um, but oh my God, that show. I am almost done with the three seasons, like with the third season. Sorry, my talking. Um, and I'm also sorry for this. Oh, sorry, there's just, you know what, I can't edit. But um, that's not news. So what was it like a week ago? Because Alicia just got done with vacation and she went back to work a couple of days ago. So it was like, I don't know, maybe like a week ago, I walked into her room and I saw that she had this show on. And I was like, what is this? And she goes, it's married at first sight. And I, my mouth fell open. I was like, are you serious? You never watch stuff like this. You're always into like competition shows. I'm like, why would you watch this? I was so baffled because I thought it was like trashy TV. And she's like, I don't know. I just thought I would give it a try. And you know what her give it a try was? She watched like a season that was on like two or three years ago. And this is like the American version. I think there's other versions. I think I saw there's an Australia version. So I'm talking about the American version of um, Married at First Sight. There's so many seasons out. I thought she started at the beginning because to me that's logical. Unless you just happen to be like watching TV. Hi, honey. Unless you happen to be watching TV and you stumbled upon it and you wanted to give it a try. I don't know. I really don't know what I was just getting ready to say because the meow from her interrupted me. Well, you know, I get distracted easily. Say hi. Anyways, back to the subject. Um, what was I saying? Oh my god. I don't know how people can, like, be interviews on other people's podcasts, or just in general, because I feel like I never talk properly, but I'm also accepting of that, I suppose. Um, where was I with this? Married at first sight. Married at first sight. Anyways, I don't know. Oh, yes. Her lack of watching in order. I am just like, she, she started liking the show. And I was sitting here watching like whatever episode she was on. And I was like, huh, this isn't quite how I thought it was going to be. Because it seemed like they had like knowledgeable specialists in the field of mental health and relationships and all kinds of shit. And... I was like, oh, you know, what What episode are you on? Like, what season? And it was like season 16. I don't know what. it's. It was like three years old. And I was like, why are you watching an, a show with so many seasons that you just like have recently realized you like the show? Why don't, why wouldn't you just stop and then go all the way back to season one and then start from the beginning and go forward? Like, why can you... Why is it okay to just kind of like, you know how I am, guys, with like the watching out of order? I don't get it. And I get that Married at First Sight, each season is its own season, just like any other reality show. But I don't know. I always have a hard time. Like if I find something that I like, I can't just start watching at where the story left off. Like I have to go all the way back to the beginning and that is what I have done. So I've been able to get a season done every two days. Not that like it's been like weeks that I've been doing this, but it's so fucking fascinating to see the patterns between couples just repeat over and over and over again and being an outsider looking in and seeing the kinds of dynamics between people and the kinds of like stuff that they've been raised with 
like the dynamics between their parents that are at, they're acting out in their current relationship. I don't know how to I'm my talking blah blah. Sorry, I'm just gonna stop. Do you know what I mean? Have you seen this show? I'm all over the place, and you know what? This is all natural right now. I've been up for a couple of hours. This is just me. But anyways, so I'm not going to just start mid mid series. I went all the way back. Oh my God. Season one was great. Season two was great. Season three, I'm like halfway through and I'm like, come on people. Like, can you, can you kick it up a notch and start like, you know, like really getting to know each other? Cause season three is kind of like, eh. but do you know how it's become a special interest? Not because I've just started binging it, because who doesn't binge shows that they suddenly find interesting? Nope. After season two, I was like, you know, there has been, what, eight, nine, ten years that have passed between this first season and present day. And so I was like, I wonder where they're at now. And I'm very careful about how I research spoilers because I don't want to see spoilers for any other season. So I really try to be careful. So I was able to do a search where I could just see one season at a time what happened to the couples. And I'm surprised that like the majority of them didn't stay together. But anyways, like that's how I know it's a special interest because I have gone to the lengths of researching to see where are these people now? What are they doing? Oh, this one's in another relationship. Like I wonder like what that one's like. Oh, that one's got kids. He didn't want kids with the other one. Like I'm just as if I know these people and it's just a special interest. It is because it's all I've been thinking about. Like how interesting of a concept is it to get married at somebody like I get it's totally backwards and I don't want to just sit here and break the show down I just wanted to get on here and say this show is fucking awesome I found something that's going to occupy hours of my time for at least the next month because I don't think I can get through all of those seasons that quickly um but you know also you know it's a special interest when the thought of watching just season upon season there's so many of these seasons and I think there's spinoffs I saw or something but you know it's a special interest when like that is not even daunting the thought of like seeing the same kind of pattern play out 20 different times with like 20 different people doesn't even put me off I don't know like I just was instantly hooked and I ended up um thanking Alicia for checking that show out because now we both watch it but we watch it on our own time because our schedules are different and it gives us a lot of insight into our marriage and the patterns that play out between us like that show is so helpful um and the so-called experts I have a problem with the word expert I would never call myself an expert no matter how much I know about something but honey there's three other cats in this house you that board? Does it say hi? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, uh, yeah, I need to stop doing that because I forgot what I was just saying. Oh, the experts. Yeah, I don't know. I would never call myself an expert, but that doesn't mean that I don't think other people aren't experts. Um, but the four people that they've got in rotation for the first few seasons are pretty freaking great. Um, they know what they're talking about. They're not pretend therapists. Um, in, you know, I have worked around therapists and specialists and et cetera for many, many years. And, um, I was thoroughly convinced at one point that, you know, this is going to sound, I don't think I should word it that way, but it's the only way I've ever worded it. I don't know. Sometimes I've worked with people that are therapists and I have wondered to myself, like, how much dick did you have to suck to get that position? I'm sorry I said it. I said it. I said it. I know that's so immature. But, like, seriously, how the fuck do some of these people become therapists Therapists because they lack so much common sense about people? And your job is to help people. And it took me a while to figure out that, like, you know, anybody can sit there and pass tests and do internships, you know, and be supervised and 
whatever. But when you're out on your own, if uh, either, I don't know, I think you're a person that either has ethics or doesn't. Maybe this is black and white, but I know with like being autistic, we tend to think in black and white. And I don't know how I got off onto like therapists, but here I am talking about therapists. Oh yeah, I know it's still related to the show. Um... I don't know. I just think that there should be some other safeguard in place to kind of weed out people who should not be providing therapy to others. Um, And I know you guys probably know the kinds of people I'm talking about. Perhaps you work with some of them. Um, So for the longest time, my perception of therapists was tarnished because of the kinds of therapists I worked around uh, and talked with. And I always was like, how the fuck do they get this far in life? How do they have a practice? How do like their patients haven't sued them by now? You know, like they're just, they weren't good therapists. And so to see people on this show who proclaim themselves to be experts, you know, or specialists and actually R is wonderful to see. I guess I should have just said that and left all the other stuff out, but you know how it is, you know, like, it's just nice to see um, that there are people who like what they do, who legitimately want to help people and want to see people's relationships thrive, do a show like this, and, and they're just helpful. They're so helpful. And Oh my God, I wonder if like I had started watching this show several years ago, where would we be right now with like our marriage? But I mean, our marriage is not in a bad state. I should have like, I don't worry. I didn't let uh, a slip of the tongue or whatever. Like there's nothing wrong with a marriage. Um, You know, we have our issues just like anybody else does. But sometimes it's like you have an issue and let's say it takes you a month to figure out like identifying the issue how it's been playing out in the relationship how it's been affecting you where it comes from like as far as childhood like and how that's kind of manifested it in your adult life and um what are you doing oh I'm sorry I'm talking to the cat and I was talking to you guys this is like so unprofessional but I don't get paid for this so I guess I was trying to say something about an issue lasting for a month you know what I'm sorry I can't go back I'm probably gonna remember what I was gonna say five minutes after I end this episode and I'm gonna have so much regret that I didn't finish this thought but you know I need to just really calm it down because when I get so excited about things I tend to lose focus I don't even know how that happens and it doesn't make sense because I get so excited about like this show for example and then I just start thinking about other things completely unrelated to the show that I'm excited about that I want to talk about but um I have a strong sense that this episode may have taken a turn um not sure which turn but I just basically the point of this is um I have a new special interest um Anybody else who has this special interest, please let me know. And then we can discuss. (laughs) Preferably somebody who just found this show, but I don't know. Like, if you're listening to this episode, like, years from now, don't bother emailing me. I'll probably have dissected all of the people that went on this show and what went wrong with their relationships and where they could have gone, you know, done better with them. Um, I just feel like this is taking over my brain and I have shit to do. Like, this is the stuff I'm talking about. If I find shows that are about relationships between people and their reality, this is the kind of stuff I like because it makes me think about my own stuff too. And, um, anytime I learn something, oh wait, that's what I was going to say. It can take a month to figure out what the issue was in a relationship and to work through it and blah, 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 if you can work through it. But like this show, I feel like shortens up that time a little bit for Alicia and I like um, f- something that's been playing out for like months, for example, I was able to instantly understand um, by just watching one of the episodes about that issue. 
And so I feel like, oh, I don't have to spend all this extra time trying to like iron out this one issue when here's what it looked like for them and here's what we can do for us. So I don't know. Anybody out there who wants to just be a better human or a better spouse or, you know, whatever, this show's pretty cool. I don't know what it's like in other countries, but I have to stay the course with the American version. And then if there are spinoffs, like I think I might have saw, seen a spinoff, I'm going to watch those. And then I'm going to, after all of the episodes are done for the American version, then I'm going to branch out. And the first country I'm going to branch out to is Australia because A, that's the only one I've seen um, commercials for that have like their own version. There's, there's probably other countries, but I also gravitate toward Australia all the time because I love the way they talk. They make me feel happy, like, just listening to them talk. I don't know, their accents are just, that's my favorite accent. And their TV is just the best TV. Reality, not reality, whatever comes out of Australia is awesome. So that's where I'm going to be headed next after America. America. Okay, I gotta go. Um, Hopefully this was relatable. Sorry for how disjointed this might have sounded. But also, Married at First Sight, give it a go. Um, my goal for the next episode is not to get on here and talk about a reality TV show. Okay. Is this still recording? Yep. Okay. (laughs) I gotta go. Thank you for listening. Goodbye. I'm not on anything, by the way. I mean, I feel like I need to say that at the end of every, every episode, but like maybe I don't have to say that, but, um, I don't know how I sounded because in my mind right now, I feel like. Well, I just got to go before I say anything that's going to, um, yeah, you know, I should just go and, um, are you still listening? I don't know why you should have clicked off by now because I'm, I'm going to just go. Okay. Bye.